Well, what a way to start your week's commentary then with the first classic of the season, the 1,000 guineas from Newmarket. It's a mile, of course, over the mile trip for three-year-old fillies. At the top, a Penzel for Darren Thompson, Barantel, Stellina, James Shea, Boss Beauty, Leon van Rensburg, Elderberry Symphony, Dan Hughes, Escapist, Leon van Rensburg, Favourite Confession, James Shea, Great Point, David Hoody, Lioness of Brittany, Michael Scala, Lixian, Pant, CDJ Liggett, Mademoiselle Ruth, Padre Hogan, Martine, Joshua Sutherland, Miss Scarlet, Martin Lidham, Pushin, Burst, Benny Gerard, Santa Barbara and Saratoga Sloop, Paul Rhodes, to Macarca for Craig Allen, washed up Steve C and Zamain kicks for David Robertson they're all installed and ready to go for the first classic of the season then and away they go in what is, we've got to say a wide open 1000 guineas no real standout this season um, Boss Beauty and washed up are the first to show washed up it is in fact, who's now gone on, so washed up and he's going to lead by a couple of lengths to the grey Zamain kicks right over on the far side, he's going to get that rail and get second, then after that one Escapist and Santa Barbara running together and closest to us you can see Tuma Carker in the green and the yellow and the grey. Next to that one is Elderberry Symphony. Dan Hughes had a great start to the season, don't forget. Looking towards the back, Miss Scarlet is the early back marker, but it's washed up in the lead. They've already covered the first three furlongs of the 1,000 guineas and washed up leads by three or four lengths to Zemaine. Kicks right over on the far side in second. Great point in the purple. Jacket up the centre of the track is probably just third. Then Tuma Carker closest to us. The grey Elderberry Symphony is close up also right over on the far side. Appenzel is now starting to get going, Escapist is still there Great Point is still trying to run on but it's now to Macarca who's come through the challenge it's washed up, it's to Macarca and washed up disputing the lead from Escapist back in third, now coming through Lioness of Brittany is coming through with a run, Baron Testalina is there, Zemain Kicks is losing its place, one or two of these looking for racing room, they're bunched up right over on the far side but up the centre of the track, it's washed up and to Macarca, this side have got it at the moment it's washed up and to Macarca being chased by Elderberry Symphony, washed up to Macarca now goes on, they're inside the final furlong and Tuma Karka is still in the lead. Zamain kicks right over on the far side. Happens in the Elderberry Symphony. He's trying to come on. One or two trying to finish late. Pushin Burst trying to come through. But Tuma Karka still in the lead. Here comes Elderberry Symphony. Zamain kicks over on the far side. It's just Pushin Burst from nowhere. And it's really close in the end. But I thought Tuma Karka had held on. But Pushin Burst was coming through like a train at the end. And Pushin Burst might have got it. The angle, as you can see, is deceptive, but Zemain kicks, also kicked back in again, and Pushin Burst has taken it for Vinnie Gerrard. So Pushin Burst takes the 1,000 guineas, Zemain kicks for David Robertson was second, and the field, scroll back down to Macarca for Craig Allen, who looked like the winner. Close to the finish was third for Craig Allen. Elderberry Symphony for Dan Hughes was fourth. And Appenzel for Darren Thompson was fifth. So he said it was going to be a wide open Guinness. And it certainly was. And Pushin burst, living up to its name and bursting through to take it right on the line for Vinnie Gerard. Couldn't have been in the lead anywhere else other than on the post.